What we do in our lab is develop the next generation of superconducting quantum bits or qubits for future quantum computers. It turns out that the biggest problem in quantum computing today is that the qubits are very error prone. And so what we're trying to do is we're giving our qubits intrinsic inherent error protection. QM's quantum orchestration platform is our main tool when we're doing error correction on qubits. We're using it to measure the qubits and to react very quickly when we notice an error. One of the big advantages of quantum machines technology is that they provide us with very fast feedback uh, so that we can catch the errors before anything else happens. It enabled my lab to perform advanced uh, procedures in quantum computing in a very short time. We could just purchase the technology that is tailor-made for exactly the applications that we want to use. This machine was developed by physicists and for the physicists. The way we code it, the way we, um, we talk to the machine is, is very close to the way we think about it. From the idea of an experiment to running the experiment, it goes much faster than uh, what we used to do. At Quantum Machines, we are a team of physicists and engineers on a mission to revolutionize quantum control, one of the most important issues in the field, and allow quantum computing labs and companies to work with no barriers towards the future of quantum computing. What my group focuses on is quantum logic gates between photons and atoms. This is a core element of uh, atom-assisted photonic quantum computing. What we have, we have an atom on a chip coupled to fibers, and we send pulses with single photons and perform logic gates between the, the atom and the photon. So introducing uh, the OPX into this lab has actually enabled us to cut down the number of elements by a factor of two. What I like about the OPX is that it offers a unified solution, uh, a way to control multiple coherent signals in a way that, that is much more elegant and much simpler than I used to do. My group does research on quantum computing using trapped ion qubits. So the way we use quantum machine is replace this array of DDSs by a single OPX, which is a very agile, scalable system that allows us to shoot out all the microwave and, and RF pulses that we need. That allows us to really tailor complex spectra uh, that we need in order to build robust gates on multiple ions. If you want to move from five qubits to dozens of qubits, if you use a single OPX, you get all these frequency outputs uh, automatically. It allows us to really write down our experiments and compile them down to the series of microwave pulses that we need very easily. So every time I have a problem, you know, I give them a call. We develop the protocols that we need with their help. They develop the, you know, their products with, with our participation. So I think the partnership with Quantum Machine is what I'm most excited about. I'm principal investigator in the lab of quantum sensing in the Weizmann Institute of Science, and we're studying the magnetism of molecules. So we're really hampered by signal-to-noise ratio. And because of that, we're, we're counting photons, and the number of photons is very small, giving us an indication of the signal. And for that, we're trying to use to employ every uh, trick possible. And one of them is real-time Bayesian estimation. So we're using that to significantly improve the signal-to-noise ratio, tremendously uh, reduce the acquisition time. Before we had the quantum orchestration platform, we would have like three or four different devices which we'd need to integrate together with our own code and its own problems and bugs. With the OPX, what we can do now is with one seamless operation, do everything starting from the execution of the code, the generation of signals, the acquisition of the signals that we want to measure in real time. To do that uh, independently by ourselves would have taken months. And with this device, the ease of operation is Amazing. We work very closely with our customers, our deep understanding of all the quantum stack, starting from the physics, and obviously the control uh, capabilities give a huge value for the customer. We usually push them to do more ambitious goals than they do. QM's technology is boosting each and every lab that we enter. We're seeing these labs progressing far, far faster and running previously impossible experiments. This is also why we've seen such rapid adoption in the last couple of years throughout the entire community, but led by ambitious teams working on these flagship experiments and breakthrough papers that needed our unique capabilities for it. Now extrapolating this growth into the future, we do anticipate that Quantum Machines is going to be present in each and every quantum research lab and quantum computing cloud infrastructure in just a couple of years time.